Hey folks, thanks for tuning in for another video. So I've got another gear review for you today, kind of cool um, little product for you. So we're, today we're going to go over the Rolling Fire Gear Armadillo Tool Roll. So stay tuned, my name is Chris, watch the Skills to Survive, we'll be right back. Alright folks, welcome back, thanks again for tuning in. So, again, what we're going to talk about today is a um, the Armadillo Tool Roll by a company called Roaring Fire Gear. Now I'm starting to see some of their um, products and stuff being reviewed out there on YouTube. I know Such has done some reviews of their products. And uh, so anyway, so this is the Armadillo Tool Roll. And basically what this is, is a, it's a tool roll, right? Uh, most of everybody has seen a tool roll. It's a, just um, a piece of material that you put tools in, you roll it up, and you got a nice little compact uh, compact toolbox per se. So this tool roll here, a uh, little bit about it, rolled up, it's 13.78 inches long by 7 inches wide and then opened it's 26.2 inches long by 13.7 inches. Um, so it's made out of uh, duckware canvas. You can kind of tell on the outside here since we're talking about the outside. You can tell it does have some uh, clips here that wraps around it that secures it in place. You have a nice heavy duty uh, grab handle here, which I really like a lot. You have D-rings here, one on each side, which it comes with an attached uh, little shoulder strap. So you can take the shoulder strap off or attach it if you want to wear this as a shoulder strap. And you have a couple little small little sections of um, Velcro on each side. So if you want to put a small patch, like a name uh, patch or something that says tools or gear or something like that on it, you can. So you unbuckle the, unbuckle the buckles, open it up here. And here's what it looks like inside. So, basically, on the inside, again, looks like your typical tool roll. But what you have is you have 23 assorted pockets and 16 loops. So, I don't know if you can tell on the video here, but this side, these pockets kind of go at an angle. So they start down here and they kind of gradually go down at an angle and gets kind of smaller. There is a little bit wider pockets and then they kind of get some smaller pockets and stuff like that and then on the other side here they're all they're all the same width so kind of gives you an um, interesting way of putting uh, different tools and, and you know, gear and stuff in there and then obviously you have the center loops elastic loops going down the center on each side what's kind of cool too is on this side here you have this flap it comes up and you have three smaller pockets here and then on the other end you have two pockets but they're larger, which is really nice. So yeah, so that's basically the tool tool roll inside and um, and out. So that's uh, right now it only comes in the one color, which is the um, canvas, you know, the brown and the green. I really like that. Kind of think it's a cool, cool little color. Everything is um, pretty well stitched in here. Um, you know, I haven't had any issues with this so far. So let's. Um, Let's load it up and um, let me show you a couple of different configurations you can use with this thing instead of just tools. So I'll be right back. Alright, let's open this up and uh, take a look at the first configuration I got it in. So, knowing me, knowing uh, you know survival, stuff like that, I kind of got this set up as like an outdoors type roll with some survival stuff in it. So let's take a look at it and see what we got. Alright, so... First thing right off the top here, since there's no pockets big enough, is uh, I got a Titan uh, survival blanket, a little cheap uh, emergency poncho, and my ACW tactical uh, field manual, and a bandana. So, starting down here at this end, you know, with these pockets down here, um, didn't put anything in this one here. Uh, in the middle pocket here, just got a uh, box of ammo, 22 ammo. Down here, just got the uh, Gata electronic lighter. And as you can kind of tell, I have some um, beef jerky in here. I have a, um, a battery bank. I have some potty packs and stuff. You know, toilet paper, uh, pens, sharpies, a little sharpening uh, thing here from Lansky, a little speedy sharp type thing. Um, Army Tech flashlight, Mora knife, some um, fire starting material, some hand sanitizer, a spare magazine uh, for my gun, you know, lighter, ferro rod over here, one of the fatwood uh, fire steels, ferro rods, 
uh, do have another fixed blade knife in here. So this is the Ontario uh, Knives uh, Journeyman knife. And then I have a, um, a hobo fishing reel in there, or fishing kit. And then in the pockets down here, I just have a couple of trash bags. And then over here I have the Ultima Survival Tips um, Tiny Survival Guide. And then the card. And I also have my Alpha Outpost um, Survival Card as well. So that's all that's in uh, here is like a again like a survival type kit, emergency kit. So got some pretty decent essentials in here, you know, fire starting knives, um, stuff like that, flashlight, battery, extra food, you know, stuff like that. So let's uh, let's take a look at it as a um, as a tool roll, how it's kind of designed. So we'll be right back. All right, let's talk about its intended design as a tool roll. So this is kind of how I've had it loaded up um, as a tool roll for my truck. Um, got a lot of stuff in here and it barely shuts. So got some gloves. I got some, you know, ratchet set. Over here, kind of slide. Well, let's start down here. So down here in these pockets, I just have a uh, tape measure, some tape, some or electrical tape, and then a um, spare uh, plug for my trailer. Down here on this end, in these little pockets, I just have a little hank of paracord and some uh, bank line. I have a couple little mini screwdrivers, and then one of these little cleaners for your um, your battery posts. So then, in here, just got your basic tools: um, screwdrivers, wrenches, pliers, a uh, knife, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, spare pin for again the uh, trailer hitch of the, my truck. So that's basically it. Um, you know, so it's a tool roll, right? So it holds tools. Um, your imagination is, you know, whatever you want to put in here. I do like the fact that these elastic straps, these hold, they hold these um, zip ties awesome. I mean, they, they're perfect for zip ties and stuff like that. So, yeah, you can put all kind of stuff in here. Um, you know, I hadn't had any problems with this so far. This being duck, uh, duck uh, canvas, it does absorb oil and stuff like that. So, you know, if you do use it as a tool roll and you might get some oil or something on it, it will absorb that so it won't get your stuff dirty too bad. The one suggestion, or a couple of suggestions I have for them. So, Roaring Fire Gear, these these pockets on each end, I think there needs to be a wider piece of Velcro here to better secure these. And I think they need to be a little bit deeper. If, we're, if you're going to put the pockets on the ends like this, on each end, this end is not too bad, but if you're going to do a little bit larger pockets like these down here, make them a little bit deeper. And the Velcro needs to be wider on both of the uh, both sections. Uh, this section down here too, the Velcro needs to be wider instead of this. I think this is like a um, one inch uh, Velcro, I believe. I think it needs, just needs to be wider. Maybe it's half inch. Anyway, so um, that's the one suggestion I have. Um, the other suggestion I have, uh, which is pretty, which is an important suggestion I think, is these straps here that secure it, I think they need to be longer. So I think you could, you should, your dad just about a you know at least another six inches to a foot of strap or webbing here to because um, when you got this thing really loaded up it barely cinches tight and I had this thing all the way out and there and the straps were getting ready to come through so that's the the second thing the third thing is these buckles here uh, I had a problem with these buckles again when those loaded up all the way these buckles wanted to, to pop loose I think you should put some a little bit stronger buckles on here uh, but other than that I haven't had any problems with this thing. It's been a nice little, nice little tool roll for the price. I think it, they, I think it's a good price. I think right now it's like thirty dollars, thirty-two dollars, something like that. And I'll put a link down below where you can get it. I'm not getting paid or anything for for advertising this or anything. So, you know, if you do buy it or don't buy it, it's no sweat off my back. I'm not getting any money from it. Uh, Roaring Fire Deer Gear did send this out to me, and I want to thank them for that because I do think this is a nice product and. Um, especially for tools and stuff like that. But again, you don't have to put tools in here if you don't want. I mean, again, you, your imagination is whatever you want to put in here. You can load this thing up with a lot of, you know, say you're a pocket knife collector or something like that. You can load it up with pocket knives. It's perfect for that. EDC type things, perfect for that too as well. I mean, you've seen the survival setup that I had. So anyway, another, I mean, it's another cool little product. And like I said, I, I really like it. So definitely, um, be using it. this is kind of my truck kit this is how I've been using it in my truck so anyway go check them out again I'll put a link down below roaring fire gear they're coming out with some uh, 
pretty cool stuff here lately. Like I said, Sooch has done several videos on their products, so maybe I'll get some other products in the future to review from them. And um, I think they're making some, you know, so far, this is my first product, but it, it seems to be pretty quality stuff. Um, I would just, you know, add a few little, or change a few little things, but that's just me personally. It doesn't necessarily affect the functionality, you know, the product. That's just me, you know, personally. But anyway, I, uh, I like this. I think it's cool. And um, yeah, folks, uh, check them out down below. I'll put a link again, and uh, I'll see you on another video really soon. Always remember PPE, plan, prepare, and exercise. Get outside, get outdoors, have fun, and um, enjoy nature, folks. And always make sure you have the necessary skills to survive. And uh, you know, I always have a tools kit in my vehicle, so this is definitely something you can either throw in your vehicle, some tools and stuff, kind of go along with that emergency kits in the vehicle. So, anyway, thanks again for watching, folks. I'll see you in another video really soon.